Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we're still running the 997 Rotec version, just so everyone's clear when we play. Um, I cannot upgrade this to the 998 version, unfortunately, but we will run this for a bit longer um, until I get my next Rotec 998 series going. Right now I'm running Night Witches under 998. We just uh, restarted. We ran about eight episodes or so. Uh, under 997 and then they released 998 so we had to restart over again at 998 um, for Night Witches so it's kind of roughly about the same as it was before it's never going to get it exact I think the closest we got was with Steve's Medina's when we went from um, 995 to 996 and then we were up to, able to update this in the 997 and now I can't go anymore so um, since we're so far in I'm not going to bother restarting much like we did with uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So um, my plan is to continue along for a while anyway. I'll probably be pre-recording a bunch of episodes on the weekends. Uh, so if you're making suggestions and stuff on what we should do, keep in mind that it'll be a few episodes behind um, before I'll be able to, or a few episodes in before I'll be able to make some uh, suggestion changes. Uh, the only reason why I'm getting a few of these recorded ahead of time is I want to focus on Night Witches and focus on getting my next series up and running. I still need to do the animation for the opening and figure out what I'm going to do for music, things like that. So I, I know what we're going to do for the next one. We're going to start off in Clan Space under 998. Um, the episode or the series will be called Free Births. Um, right now, Cold Forge is sort of, I've uh, recorded the last two episodes of that. I'll be releasing those this week um, once I get them edited and posted. Um, but basically we ended off in Clan Space with Cold Forge. So I want to pick up there with the next series. Uh, maybe kind of descendants of uh, the, the guys from Cold Forge. So uh, the descendants of Cold Metal, Hickory, Pylon, and Recoil, and then our second Lance. Um, so we'll be starting over again there. But uh, right now, we got to focus on what we're doing here. So I made a decision between the last episode and this one. Um, I wasn't really happy with using the Victor or the Orion right now as a melee mech. I don't think they're perfect for the task. So what I did is I brought forward the Wolverine R. And what we did is we outfitted this guy as our new melee mech. So I stripped the Hunchback. Uh, we can use this guy in a different role. I think if we can get some PPCs and stuff and, and get him back to the way he was, I think he'll probably be good in that role. But right now, the Wolverine um, is actually getting um, updated to become our new melee mech. And I've got the Orion ready to go. Uh, the Catapult I did some work on as well. Um, so, yeah, that'll be up and ready to go as soon as soon at some point. But right now, we've got um, four nice heavy mechs here that we can run. Uh, plus a, a, a bushwhacker as an off mech if we need it. Um, so we're going to take uh, a, um, a couple of missions here for um, Karita. They've got problems with pirates on this planet. So what they want us to do is find a pirate lance and hit it hard. Um, hopefully some of them will try and flee or whatever, and then we'll be able to find out where the pirate base is. So they're going to be monitoring this combat, hopefully being able to track whatever remnants um, are heading back to the pirate base, and then they're going to let us zero in on that and finish that pirate base up. So let's do that today, and I'll see everybody down on the surface. I'm good to go, Commander. All right, here we go. So there's a pirate lance. Looks like up over here. I don't know if they've got any other reinforcements around. There might be... Uh, I don't know, it's a kind of a small map, but uh, maybe not. So we're going to work our way in. Standing by. Roger. So it'd be nice to have another catapult up and running. Especially with the... Uh, um, not necessity, but um, good reasons to be shooting targets at long distance. It'd be nice to be able to lob missiles over all kinds of rocks and stuff. Just stay in the background and, and plaster people from a distance. It'll be even better when we pick up uh, clan LRMs that are like half the weight. We can double the uh, amount of missiles we can launch. Okay, here vehicles moving. Commander. So we brought Saint in instead of Rocky. Rocky is uh, out of action currently. But we got the Jager mech in here uh, with the overheating ability. 
We might be able to outfit that second, um, the, uh, oh, it's a specter, the, the second, um, catapult with, uh, SRMs and, um, incendiary ammo, assassin, specter, um, just the door and recommend it. Maybe we try that just to, to, uh, help out with the, uh, um, overheat, oh, of course. To help out with the overheating ability. Another catapult. Man, lots of catapults. What do we got over here, Javelin? That's really good chances to hit. We're going to take it. Class to this guy. Okay, so we got sound issues on this map. No big deal. At least we're not getting it running into uh, um, slowdowns. Sure, buddy. Bring it on. So I like the uh, the new version, 998, the fact that each weapon has got now has got its own ammunition. So for instance, an LB-2X doesn't just use AC-2 ammo anymore, it uses LB, LBX ammo. LB-2X ammo, that is. Uh, let's... Can we get any other eyes on other than that guy? We can't. We want to keep our torso turned to the upper hill here where we have more guys coming. What is pot shot? Um... 42, and then we'll have 10 rounds left of close range. I think we're going to hold off firing. Just concerned about the AC ammo. Number of rounds we have. Yes, Commander. So once we start getting clan equipment, that, that will become less and less of an issue. Just the lighter weight of the clan stuff will allow us to put way more ammunition in. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt and the Ultra 5. We got 15 turns of rounds for these guys, so let's just see if we can get a hit here. Nope. Okay, we got a Battlemaster. So this is around a round of three skull mission. There's a vehicle back there. I don't know what the weight was. What was that? A Shrek, 80 tons, okay. We should be able to smash that guy, I think. Not too much of an issue. Let's get in the water here. Keep us a little cooler. Yeah, we'll fire everything. Wow, four misses. That's unusual. No damage detected. Yeah, I didn't detect any damage either. Alcorn. So that's the uh, Alcorn, I think, is the uh, three Goss rifle pirate version. Ordered. We gotta keep our eye out for that. Um, let's get into here. Understood. Moving fast. I want to hit these guys hard and fast, so I don't want to be messing around with waiting here. Uh, three lasers. Let's just blast them with everything. I Wow, that was terrible. Got a little bit of heat on him anyway. I've been sensor locked. Ah, screw you. Screw you and your damn sensor locks. Uh, let's move forward and block him. Go ahead and sensor lock him. We're just going to block him from sight. Uh, we're going to use Warlord on this one because I want to smash this guy if I can and fire everything. Come on, hit. Nice. That hit something good. Yeah. Sure did. Uh huh. Thanks for coming out. I think our catapult can get in to get a side shot in this guy here if he doesn't move before us. We go on 19, so I think we move before him. Because he goes on 19 too. Okay. I'm receiving you. Okay, cat, let's get up here. There we go. Not a side shot, but good enough. That's the assassin. I don't really care about that, about that right now. 
Let's smash this guy if we can. Confirmed. Eh. It's not as, as effective as my uh, one in Cold Forge with all the clan LRMs on it. Okay. Not a big deal. Battle Master. Got an ATM on it. Welcome to the fight, buddy. Damage is light. As soon as those guys get within range, we're switching to the vehicles. I want them gone. Uh, let's sprint it up here. I need to give uh, Hellcat a bit of fire support here. So let's move up into here. Really low chances to hit. Not bad on that guy. Not bad on that guy. Let's shoot on this guy here. And fire everything. Nice. So we should be able to kill that guy next turn. Maybe we can take out the Spectre and this guy next turn. Okay, crap a bolt. Okay. Standing by. Who do we want to overheat here? There really is nobody. Uh, I'm gonna move up here though. I think I want to save. That one. And go for damage outright on this guy. Let's try for the torso. Gonna leave the small laser off. Well, why bother to leave it on? It's not adding any heat. Um, yeah, it's fire. He's not having a good day. So the catapult, even though, um, the ACs aren't doing a whole lot of damage. He's still res hitting respectably. He's still doing okay damage. The actual ac application of the heat is the uh, trade-off, but it's I think it's worth it. Let's get into here. So this is a Spectre. Really bad chances to hit. So I'm going to multi-target, I think. going to go against the Spectre and this guy. These guys will go on the assassin. Hopefully, we kill it. Maybe we got a couple lucky shots on the specter. Okay, not bad. And then this should, I think, hopefully kill the assassin. Nope, we missed. Yeah, I was hoping to hit with the Thunderbolt twenty. It didn't happen. Where are you going? You just. Okay, I thought he turned his back to us there for a second. I was like, what are you doing, man? Just wants to die. I'm hoping for a direct shot on the Spectre here. 51. It's even lower from there. Okay, let's move in. Um, don't need to warlord. Just gonna shoot everything, I think. Is he unstable? No idea if he's unstable or not. Pretty darn close. Guess we'll find out in a second here. Yeah, but we can't let that battle master keep pot shotting. Catapult's not so bad with one damage, but that Battlemaster doing six per shot, he's allowed to stay back there. He's going to start accruing a lot of damage against us.
Okay, let's get into here. Yep, let's go this route and fire. Oh, nice job. Now they're down two. They're going first, right? Yeah. Javelin. Reparting minimal damage. Yes, Commander. I'm there. Do I want to go direct fire? Pretty good chance to hit. So only got 320 armor. Let's do it. For an alpha strike. Got a lock on me. Yeah, it's that fucking catapult. See if we can get rid of this guy. And fire. God, man, those four PPCs are just insane. The plus 10 damage, minus, minus 10 heat is just crazy powerful. Especially when you load them all into one mech. It's just... He's been just punishing people. Uh, I want to get to a point where I can actually visually see this guy. There we go. Supply some heat to this guy. Firing everything on him. Okay, four AC hits. Everything but the or the small laser hits. 80 heat. Nice. And fire everything. Okay, he's lost initiative next round, which means he's going to get four PPCs. Maybe we'll get some battle master parts out of this mission. I like the one that we had against three battle masters and got nothing. Okay, the Shrek and the Alicorn. Not even worried about those guys. They're not moving up fast enough to worry about. This catapult, on the other hand, is our next target, I think. What do you think, Rhino? I think you can finish this guy up for me. Fire everything. Yep. PPCs can better be used elsewhere. Just adding insult to injury. Just stop. Target eliminated. We're inspired. Got to get into direct fire position, I think. Commander? We'll take a turn reorienting ourselves. Let's drop some missiles on this guy for now. Just let him know we're coming. Okay, Speev. Can we get direct fire on this guy? We can't. I'm just going to walk it up though. I want to get rid of my instability. We'll drop some missiles. Oh, that's a good chance to hit. Um, I'm going to try for a headshot because why not? Okay, good. He lost some initiative. 
shit. Uh, it's gonna take you forever to get up there. Standing by. Let's make sure our back is not turned that way. Let's make sure it's our side. Just in case they come around the corner. Uh, just drop a thunderbolt on this guy, see if we hit. Nope. Okay, Battlemaster still inflicting damage. Okay, Steve, can you get within sight? Nope. Let's just move up. We'll be looking down on these guys soon enough. Alright. You want to come and see us? That's good. Saves us coming over there to see you. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's go Saint first. So was that rare chance we shut that guy down. Yeah, fire everything. See if we can hit him with a thunderbolt. Oh yeah. Got another mission to do after this one, so I'm just trying to quickly whip through this. It's going down. Yeah, that guy's still inflicting damage, man. We gotta get on that battle master. We'll be doing that next turn. I think Steve should be able to finish this guy up, get our stability back. Yeah, target the CT, fire everything. Well, pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> he's got like one or two points left in the CT. Just run, just bail out. Why? Why do you even stay in the fight? Yeah, I don't even understand that move. Confirm. All right, let's get on this battle master. Target neutralized. I want the Shrek and the Alicorn after the battle master. I think we can get everybody direct firing those guys and killing them. Got two MMLs. You ain't gonna out DPS me, buddy. Not today, you ain't. Yeah, man. Keep your eyes up for that Shrek. Might be able to target him. Okay, it's not a PPC version. Yes, Commander. Roger. Hey, I'm firing. Okay, let's see if we can hit him with another one. Nah, I can't get that lucky. Damn it. I don't say damn it, you hit him the first time.
Okay, 99% chance to hit this guy. 120 on the side. Uh, kind of Warlord. And we're going to offensive push him. Because I want to hit the side. And fire. There we go. All right. Side shots and fire. Oh, I got three that time anyway. I'm here. Might be able to kill him. Direct fire and warlord confirm. Defensive push. I know it's still gonna splash, but hopefully we initialize on the side here. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Roger. All speed. Acknowledged. Ah. Oh well, can't win them all. This guy's got, I think, three Goss, pirate Gosses. But I think uh, two of them are critical now. Yeah. So they would, the two of them would be at minus to hit, plus they're already minus to hit, so... Standing by. Wow. Let's just give it a shot, why not? Okay, one head hit. Waiting for orders. Move order received. We're shooting top down, so I might as well give it a shot. Firing. Did we hit his head again? We did. Good to go. And firing. He's going down. So even if we didn't hit his head, he'll take a uh, wound here. A hit. So that's three. Uh, this guy's turret's down a bunch too. So let's do an offensive push on the turret and fire four. God damn it. Where are you going? Should be able to kill you next turn. I wonder what the Crapple Master is going to do here. Okay, so we should all go before him. How much resolve do we have left? Fair bit. Uh, let's use it up. I'm gonna. Uh, how much has he got left in the CT? Uh, let's not use you on that guy. Let's use you on this guy. No, no called shot, please. We're just gonna fire it and dump everything into him. Okay. Leave the, this off. We'll fire the rest. Gonna go after the head. Firing. Machine guys might hit. Okay, another head hit. Critical hit, Commander. Should be able to knock him down. Move order received. 
headquarters. Huh. I think the catapult's blocking his way. Oh. It's not any better, but we'll move over here anyway. Um. Yeah. See if we can get a headshot on him. Okay, he's going down. Oh, he bailed. Nice. There we go. Good salvage. Mission successful. Alright, there we go. Contract and payment increased by 20%. So they were happy with our work. 580,000. And no significant damage on any real mech. A little bit of armor damage, but not nothing that we couldn't handle. Okay, we could take Battle Master parts. We're only going to get two. Um, enhanced LRM 15s. Weapon deals 20% reduced damage the closer it gets to the target. Minimum damage range. So the farther away it is, the more damage it does. Interesting. Light PPCs, medium VSPLs, four tons though. MMLs, Beagle Pro, which I think we have already got one, yeah. Case 2. Do we have any case? We don't have any case. ECMs, E cooling plus 3. I don't think we really have any cores that can utilize that right now. The other thing too is we don't have a lot of cores. Maybe we take these two cores. Or we take one core and a double heatsink kit. No, I want the two cores I think more so right now than anything. We've only got a handful of cores. Oh wait, retractable blade. Let's take the big core. I'm trying to really work on that our uh, melee capability, so I'm thinking that retractable blade will take. And we'll leave it there. Assassin, two catapult parts, javelin, and a specter. This thing game does not like handing out battle master parts. I will say that. Goss pirate rifle, which I think will probably sell. 15% chance to be damaged or explode after firing. Yeah, I'd probably sell it. Enhanced LRM-15. Probably check out how that works. Heat 18, though. Don't know. It's 9 tons. Anyway. Well, we'll see how this... We'll see how that goes. Alright. Okay. 64,000 in repairs. Not too bad. I have a bit of time to repair. So, let's manage our tasks a bit here. We want our main guys back. Let's go that route. 12 days. Should be back up and running. Excellent. Let's do that second half. So... They found out where the pirate base is. We're going to go down and destroy that base. So I'll see you guys on the surface. Alright, so here we are on the surface. Their base is just over the hill here. I think we've done this map before. Um, we used cover to minimize the amount of turret fire we could get on us. So, I mean, we could crest the hill, but then we'd have everybody shooting at us. I'm thinking probably going around is probably a better idea. Um, until we can get indirect fire capability here. Okay, here a vehicle. Don't know if we're going to get reinforcements on this one. Yes, I'm hoping we kill the uh, heaviest of the pirate force. 
back there. Um, we'll find out soon enough. And yeah, we got lag. So I'm understanding most of this lag is uh, probably gone in 998. It's hard, to, it's hard to tell. I've only played really one mission so far in 998, so... I know the lag is tied into the uh, base destruction missions. So I might start avoiding those with uh, um, Funky Steve's Medinas. Although they're a good source of um, sea bills, I think probably what I'll do is I'll do those missions um, like milk run missions against bases between episodes. That way you guys don't have to put up with all the uh, lousy movement because it's just painful. He's the six million dollar man. Sounds like a lot of vehicles. Eh, missile turrets. Because why wouldn't they be? Well, at least it's only one turret. Glad they could shoot at us before we could shoot at them. That's uh, great. So, Vindicator, Standard Turret, Saladin, Bola, Standard Turret, Blackjack, Hardened Turret. And the back one is Standard Turret. I have no idea where the missiles came from. It was probably either from here or here. Saladin definitely needs to go. Standing by. Let's work on this turret. Understood. Moving fast. That doesn't look like you're moving fast. Oh, maybe so. You're moving so fast you're blurred. Okay, fire and everything on this turret. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. I keep forgetting um, heat does bonus damage, I think, versus uh, turrets and buildings. Ah, uh, you decided to crest that hill, did you? No, you didn't. Probably a good thing for you. Da -na 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 -na. Sorry, I have to enter entertain myself somehow. Watching these mechs move is just painful. Okay, let's get rid of this turret. Bang, you're dead. That turret is gone. Sure is. Bola Communis. Light Goss Rifle, eh? Up Armored version of the Saladin. Which I don't think we can actually target for a bit, so I'm not going to worry about that. I am going to, however, hopefully wreck this other turret. Should be able to do it. Firing four. Yep. Turret killer! Maybe we can get lucky with a sh shot from Rhino with the uh, Thunderbolt 20 and smash this up armored Saladin before it gets a chance to do anything. I mean, I, you know, AC-20s are relatively inaccurate without ballistic TTSs. So the chance of it hitting is probably pretty slim. I say probably, but you never know, right? 
57% chance to hit. I'm going to Warlord it just because we don't really need it for anything else. And hopefully we hit. Come on. Ah, you. <sighs> yeah, you did. Well, maybe next turn. As long as he doesn't see you and shoot your head off. Nope, he's moving away. Okay, so there's the missile turret. We know where it is now. Receiving you. Move order. Come on. Ah, it's dump one on there. I copy. Oh, you missed again? It said 22%, but we had 80% chance to hit. I'm not exactly sure what that percentage means then. I don't think they know how, what percentage means. Shoot me. It's not going to be good for you. Saw what I did to that turret, man. Don't want any part of this. Wow, he's got some speed. He did get a shot off. Receiving you. I think we'll be okay from the turret here. On it. Bing. Yeah, fire everything. Anytime you want to hit. Anytime today. I know there's infantry in the woods, but let's not focus on them. Let's focus on the AC-20. What is in this vehicle? Two ballistics. Oh right, it's the light goss, that's right. How quickly I forget. Um, that's what happens when you get older people. Okay, we're going to multi-target this out. You and you. And these guys are going to B, these two to A, and firing. Engaging really? How can you give other people shit and you're missing like that? God damn it. Commander? Now I have to waste my missiles on a friggin' Saladin. I wanted to kill that Get turret. Out. He's going to rain missiles down on us. It's going to be all your fault. One more for the rubbish bin. Thank you for saving our asses, Hellcat. Hey guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you're liking the longer episodes. I've been trying to push, I've been used to try and hang out between 30 and, and 40 minutes. Now I'm pushing it to 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes over an hour. If you're okay with that, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the shorter versions, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I don't mind doing either one, I guess. I'm receiving you. Um... Back up. Aye. Missile turret's got to go this turn. And firing. Confirm. It's got to go because every time it fires it's costing us money. Hooray! Creative Claws is updated again. Sorry. An update is available for Creative Cloud again. Dude, you better not be overheating over there. You're going to get in a lot of trouble in a second. Bola Cominus. Yes, Commander. wonder if he minds if I, if I call him Ebola.
No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Let's overheat this shit out of this guy. Uh, almost. He's not doing much next turn. That's for dang sure. So we're gonna multi this out. Aye aye. Aye aye. So the one thing I hope they've got fixed, I haven't checked in uh, the newest version, 998 gotcha. and 1.4 is the ability to change uniforms and stuff of the individual uh, mech pilots. I know you can do it so that when you when you click on their portrait and go in, you can see that they're different, but they don't rep they're not represented on the pilots in the actual squares. Cuz I like having my guys with, you know, uniforms, right? Part of being a team is having the same uniform. Okay, you got two overheating mechs. Can move into here. Yeah, fire. Okay, there's a knockdown. Yeah, man. Turret gone. One turret left, and it's not shooting us, so no, we don't care. Um, nobody's wobbly. Let's start on the Cunnilingus down there. This guy. Mm. Yeah. Might as well. And fire. Okay. And dump everything into this guy. Come on, head hit. I like the head hits because, of the, yeah, the initiative, right? Minus four initiative. Alright, move over here. Shut this guy down, please. So all he can do is start up next turn. Hmm. Yep. Goodbye. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay, we should be able to finish these guys up. I'm hoping this turn. What was that from? A turret? Huh. Okay, so we're on this guy first. Fire everything. He's shut down. Sucks to be you, man. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. Don't think we're gonna kill these guys this turn, but we'll be pretty close. Fire everything. Target eliminated. 
And then I can't shoot anything. Really? Ah, oh, it sucks to be me. I'm here. That was a pretty good chance to hit. Let's make it even better. Firing. Thanks for finally showing up to the battle, buddy. I'm sure your boss will be happy. So that was a turret. Okay, should be nice and soft now. Hopefully finish him up here. Firing. Nice. Commander. Buildings, please. Oh, we can only see the turret. Oh, that's fine. Turret, please. Firing. Additional pirate forces, eh? Engaging multiple targets. Heavy damage to an enemy okay, where are they coming from? Most likely behind me because fuck me. Nope. Okay. Here, vehicle, commando. Can't get into the water. Let's just walk it over. Actually, let's walk it this. I uh, can't hit more than once I can. Here we go. Okay, this guy's got 200. This guy's got 150. This guy is a one hit wonder. So it's multi target. This one and this one. And fire. Oh, shit. Did it in the wrong order. Enemy structure eliminated. Well, that's a waste of a turn. God damn it. I'm here. Let's not stay up there, please. Let's come down this way. Maybe you can finish up the building I started. Should be able to. Spore clouds. A little spore will do ya. Nice. No, 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 we ain't going nowhere. Additional pirates. Additional pirates. Additional opportunity for some good shiz. Although the commando in a vehicle that I heard, it's not going to be that good. Okay, one vehicle. Commando, Bulldog, J. Edgar. Uh, we got to go over this way anyway, so. Yes, Commander. Double time. Let's go. Let's hammer the J. Edgar. Hammer the J. Edgar. Hopefully we hit. Eh. Meh. That's a miss. It is. <laughs> He's fleeing the interview. Going full throttle.
Come on, Steve, catch up. Cool She's gonna get some of your heat back here. Oh, and Orion. Okay, nice. We just pick one up, but maybe we can get some more salvage from this guy. So we're gonna make our way towards the Orion, I think. Everybody also make themselves known. Alright, sure. Yeah, fire everything. Man, those medium lasers are hitting fairly well. He's running away! Considering they're not really ready to fight me, I understand why they're running away. Line them up. Knock them down. Okay, two hits. Not bad. Direct fire. Firing. He's not having a good day. Okay, let's move up here, dump it all into the sky, firing. And he's on his ass. Okay, Bulldog. They've got a lock on me. Okay, this guy's getting back up again. And then what? Really? Shouldn't be allowed to use Ace Pilot if you have to get up off the ground first before you fire. I'm receiving you. Ten four. This guy's gonna die horribly. Yeah, he's almost done. Uh work on this bulldog and let's bull warlord this sucker get some more damage on this guy firing you've elected the way of pain Okay, Commando's coming back. No, he's not. <laughs> he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Uh, I'm going to leave this to uh, Saint to finish up. Waiting for orders. Won't be a problem for her to fire everything. That should do it. Um, bye bye. What's up, boss? I think this could be a rear attack. Ooh, that's a really good chance to hit on this guy. Not bad on this guy. We can kill the Jaeger with the other guys, no problem. Let's fire on him. Yeah, man. Get up here on this J. Edgar. And fire it all. So we just have enough ammo for to finish this up. Still alive, huh? Let's 
It's gotta be on this guy, I think. Gonna warlord it, give us a better chance to hit, dump everything into him. Goodbye. Don't think Steve's gonna be able to shoot this Jagger. Oh, he's moving in. Damage is minor. He's a scrappy little bastard. It's not gonna save him though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Gonna vigilance it. Maybe we can get ahead of everybody else and steal the kill. Oh, we can! <laughs> oh, he's going first, though. That's not fair. Alright, let's get this kill, Steve, and we can get out of here. Here it comes, folks. There it is. Let's go home. Alright, so the Kreenans are extremely happy with our work, plus 45% increase in payment. That's given us a million sea bills payout on this one, that's awesome. And no significant damage. A little bit on the Jager mech, but not much at all. Alright, uh, maybe the Orion part. We'll see what else we got down here. LBX, LB2 X's. Hmm, I don't know. PPZ Pirate. Hmm, 45 heat though. Advanced AMS. Oh, wait. C3I. Increased resolve gain per action. 5% increased sensor range for Lance. 5% increase improves network. Improved network unit shares sensor information. So that's this. Is this the C3 Master? C3I, Draconis Combine. So let's grab the C3i. AMS is another possibility. We do have one already though. Exchanger. What else do we have? Upper Ballistics. We need this, don't we? For the Victor? Right? We don't have any of those. That's what we're missing on him. Yeah, so let's confirm this. Okay, Blackjack Commando part, LB2X, Light Rifle, PPZ. Alright, so we didn't do too bad on this one. For only having a little bit of salvage. Alright, 52,000 in repairs. A little more than I thought it would be. But overall, not bad at all. We made a million. Alright guys, so that was a pretty good run. Um, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the C3, and the Victor could definitely put that upper arm actuator in. Okay, let's have a look real quick here. Just so I don't forget. I've been known to forget things. So let's go in, Victor, refit. Okay, that's really going to benefit the Ultra 5. So let's find that upper arm here. Upper Ballistic. It's two slots, which means we have to pull one thing out. Pull out a light machine gun. Maybe? Well, how much is the weight on this thing? One ton. Hmm. Hesitant to pull out two light machine guns. And I don't want to pull out a ton of AC AC twenty ammo. I wish we had the double load. Let's check the store real quick. 
So ballistic. No. I was hoping for a double load of ballistic uh, AC-20 ammo. We don't have that, do we? I'm sure I would have used it if we did. Yeah, we don't have it. Um, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, I could lose a patchwork material. That's probably the best way to go. Uh, where are you here? Upper ballistic. Here we go. So that's 0.25 tons over. So we need to remove four points. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we're one ton over. How's that? Oh, right. Durr. No. Yeah. How is that? Does the NSS3 car 6 as well? It does, doesn't it? Um, maybe it's time to pull out the light machine guns. But what do we replace it with? That's the thing, right? We do have another laser point on this side. But the light machine guns have been generating head hits. Got a bonus damage medium laser. We'd be pulling out three tons. Let's put this back the way it was for a second. So if we go one, two, three, four, like that. That's five. That's 30 damage for 16 heat. If we're going to go that route, we're almost better off going 28 damage for 15 heat and getting the extra range. So that's a possibility. The snub nose six tons. So we pull out the medium VS. Well, you know what? No. Don't want to pull out the medium VSPL. Could um, what if we do? Uh, we have a half a ton of. We do have tons of machine gun ammo. So we could to leave two machine guns in. Right, leave the two machine guns in the arm. And maybe one here. So we're, we're gaining accuracy, but we're losing a light machine gun. Half ton is only giving us... 15, 6, almost 7 turns of fire. I don't know what else we can do here. Endo Steel is giving us 4 tons. Nothing else is going to give us this unless we change out the gyro. Like if we, you know, it might be better. Do we have an XL gyro? We have an ultralight gyro. We don't have an XL gyro. So that's not going to work. K 
can't we can't increase our stability damage taken by this guy. Um, if we had an XL, I'd go with it because we could swap out the XL gyro, pull out the endo steel, put in the NSS. How else do we get extra weight though? We could drop the core slightly. Do we have another core now that we could use? Nothing that's capable. We left that other core behind. The 240, I think it was. Okay, let's leave it here. We may run out of machine gun ammo, but the accuracy of this is more important. I mean, we, if we leave this light machine gun out, let's say, we could replace it with um, like a small laser plus, triple plus, extra range. It's 16 heat though. We're adding three damage for eight heat. Marginal amount of range too, so 220, this one's like 330 I think. 300. Asian pips ignored. I mean it hits better for sure. I think maybe we just go with a regular small. Well, yeah. Let's just drop a regular small in for now. That way it gives us 10 turns of light machine gun fire. At more accurate AC5. Average range drops a bit, but I'm not really that worried about it. Let's go this route and confirm it's two days. Alright, we're going to end the episode here. We could go on forever doing this stuff. Um, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, when we come back next time, most likely we're going to ship change planets because we do have a lot of repairs to do here. Uh, I want to get the Wolverine back, the Melee Mech. Uh, I want to get that back in service. Um, let's go this route, that way our Jager Mech, Mjolnir and Victor are back in seven days. I want to start generating some more income as well because I want to get the third Mech Bay up and running. Uh, that's I think vital is now we're get, entering that point where we've got a lot of work doing, uh, working on a lot of mechs. we got uh, a lot more mechs in our Mech Bay as well. So having a third one up and running will be great. If I can get to a planet within before the 11 days, fantastic. If not, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode here. If you liked it, drop a like. Uh, keep in mind that this is version 997 and we'll stay there. Can't upgrade, unfortunately. So if you're looking at for new content and 998, you're looking for Night Witches. And then right after that, um, within hopefully this next week or so, um, which is moving towards February 14th, um, then uh, look for another series that's going to be called uh, Free Births, and that's going to be starting in Clan Space, and that will be in version 9.8 as well. Uh, this will then slowly wean its way off, and I'll be working on the other two series from that point on. Um, if we have lots of call, like I said, for Cold Forged, uh, if we get lots of call for um, continuing along with the storyline, if people are interested, then most likely it'll be reduced to once a week. Uh, just in order to keep the other two series, the most modern series, going every day, um, I'll have to. I'll be relegated to doing this one on the weekend. Cold Forge right now is going to be weekends only, um, so once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on how many episodes I get recorded on a weekend. Uh, Funky Steve's Medina's will eventually probably go that same route, where if there is interest in people wanting to watch it, it will go back to to one episode a week. Because um, we're recording on the weekends is a little easier than during the week because I do have a full-time job So, you know nine to five be working and I got a family too So I don't really get a chance to do much until after nine o'clock So yeah, anyway, we're gonna leave the episode there If you like it drop a like if you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe and also drop some comments in the comment section down below and until next time We'll see you later